I have asked hundreds of execs some version of that question. They all choose the boardroom. <laughs> and then they trip over themselves trying to convince me that deep down inside, there's some dangerous man or woman yearning to live on the edge. But in your case, you've actually been to the edge. Not everybody that goes gets to come back. <laughs> this is amazing. Welcome back. They've been husband <laughs> and wife for nearly two decades. Mazel tov. And now they're making their on-screen debut together on General Hospital. Please welcome two of our favorites, Cameron and yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm, I'm blushing. <laughs> I'm blushing watching that. Like it's almost like it's it's given people like it feels different watching Vanessa and I on screen in front of America. I, 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 I was just agree. looking at that. Yep. You guys cannot fake the way you guys feel about each other. See. Cam, you were looking at her like, yep, mm -hmm. I'll see you about six hours. We're gonna be out. Yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. I agree. Oh, Twenty years later. All right, so you guys are looking, uh, Cameron, very relaxed right now where you are. Did you just get back from like a massage? What's going on? You seem very like spa like. Can you tell? Yeah. I've got like puffy. If you look really close, you can see the ring around my face. I'm, I'm visiting my dad in Florida, oh. and he was kind enough to gift me a massage at, at uh, a local place, and uh, and I just made it in time, massage face and all. So nice. life, life does not suck right now. We'll take it. You're we'll glowing, it. we can tell. So Vanessa, I want to ask you, is Cameron a better scene partner or better in real life as the husband? Ooh, good question. <laughs> Ooh, they're a little bit different, you know? It's, it's, uh, I love, I love, they're both fun to flirt with. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're both amazing. What can I say? Ooh. It was so much fun to be on screen with him. It was incredible. I never thought in a million years that I would be able to do a scene with my husband in Port Charles. I have just been like living my best life for the past couple of days. That's lovely. <laughs> All right. Now, I have to ask you guys Ooh. this question as parents. Uh, you, you know, I'm a parent myself and uh, I feel my kids getting older. And quite frankly, I tell everybody that I listen, I hate it. I don't like my kids getting older. I want them to be with me forever. So I want to ask you guys, your kids are teenagers. Are you guys ready to be empty nesters, ready for that phase? Your kids are grown. I don't yeah, know. We ahead, talk Ness. about this a lot, Cameron and I. I'm not ready. Yeah, I, <laughs> the answer for me is easy. But the answer for me is no. Like I, no. I every time my son's at, at college in LA, and every time he comes home and, and visits us for a little while, which is so great when he does, it's like every time is painful. And Layla's in tenth grade, um, and she's already looking at colleges, yeah. and the whole the whole idea of it for me is very difficult clearly like i'm super attached to us being together as a family and we're, we're ready to pack up and move to whatever city like you know i just hope they go to college close to the same place because yes. then we'll be close and we'll just we'll be that we'll be those parents i mean i'm sorry yeah they'll be like yeah, we're gonna follow them around <laughs> you're making me feel better because i'm gonna go i'm gonna be that parent that's like throwing away college brochures like yeah they never were <laughs> Work. Yeah. <laughs> Cam, I saw you listening in on the last uh, segment. We were talking about warming up fish in the studio. It was Chris Clark. Chris Clark. I, I, yeah, I got to tell you. <laughs> oh! By the way, Vanessa, Vanessa, take this. Okay, so Chris, good to know. Uh, Vanessa, take this. Do, does anybody, did you know anybody that warms up fish in the house or anywhere? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Every single day. <laughs> That's Cameron. Oh, yes. Every single oh, no. day. And it completely, it completely no. fills the house oh, with fish smell. Oh, it's God. terrible. Now, I, I, I eat a lot of good quality fish. <laughs> I do warm it up sometimes in the microwave, but typically in the pan. But the point is, it doesn't matter. It's still going to fill the house. Yeah. So it's still not great. Good quality Terrible. doesn't make it better. We almost got a divorce after I cooked scallops one night. <laughs> I'm, true story. She, she oh, was not man. having it. She was not oh, having man. it. But let's I've got a system. I've got a system. Two candles and keep all the windows open. I'm sorry. We'll, oh, we'll move good. on. That's good. That's good. Uh, I still Cameron, don't know if that's going to work. Cameron Maffishson. <laughs> 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 All right, let's get to General Hospital. This is the first time you guys actually acted together. What's that like? Speaking of my wife, we could never do this. I would be laughing. I wouldn't be able to take it serious. How was that being serious together with each other? Having returned. First of all, I was so yes. nervous. I had like cotton mouth. Oh, I was oh, nauseous. Man. And Cameron was the best co-star I could ever, ever imagine. He totally held my hand through the whole thing. He helped me rehearse lines for like 
a week, which is <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Um, he, he was amazing. It, it was it was so surreal. It was so bizarre to be there filming with him. How about you, Cam? What do you think? You got to remember also, Vanessa, Vanessa's a non-actor. Like, this is not only yeah. her acting debut with totally. me, and acting debut on Joe Hunt. This is the first time she's acted on camera. And so we thought it was going to be like a walk-on part, like cross through the room or something. Or, um, But you did an amazing job. The irony is also when we met, one of my cheesy, cheesy pickup lines, because oh she was studying acting back in the day. One of the cheesy, I said to her, I said, well, you know, if you ever want to run lines, you know, just give me a call. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> All right, before we go, we do want to ask you. It, it worked, but it was horrible. But now we're now we were running lines, so it was very weird. It's all coming manifesting. <laughs> yeah. All right, we want to ask you one last question. Using just one sure. word, what is a, both of your secrets to a successful marriage? So think of your words, one word each, and I'm going to say one, two, three, and on three, you're going to tell me what you think the secret to marriage is. Are you guys ready? Okay, so one word on three. Here correct, we go. Correct, correct. Ready? One. Uh, I don't think I have one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's like, I have nothing. One, two, three. Cherish. Taking responsibility. What did she say? <laughs> Mine's not one word. <laughs> Taking responsibility for our own part. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. That was happening. That's lovely. Cherish and responsibility. And, and, Cherish and, and responsibility. That's really those are good. good. Mm -hmm. And no fish. Very no. helpful. Yes, <laughs> yeah. please. No fish. <laughs> no fish. Cameron and yeah, Vanessa. I'm still working on that. <laughs> yeah, you are. Thank yeah. you so much Stay for strong. chatting with us. We love talking with you. Don't forget, everyone, to watch General Hospital on ABC for these two. Stay with us as we reveal our one word secret to a successful marriage. That's next. We'll be right back. Thanks, Cameron. Good to Thanks, see Vanessa. you guys. Thank Thanks, guys. Love you guys. Bye, guys.